Kenya Forestry Research Institute, Nyeri, have got various activities which are occurring within Nyeri's, uh, within Nyeri County, and not only in Nyeri, we also do work within the surrounding counties. That is in uh, uh, Kirinyaga, Ebu, Meru, and the part of Laikipia, where we do the work of the Kenya seed collection uh, activities, rehabilitation, and the babu rehabilitation in the riverian river systems. Carefully is doing a very good job because when it comes to babu, babu is a very fast growing tree, uh, tree which is classified in the grass family. And we have got many work uh, activities we have carried out, even if the research work is ongoing. And you have value addition where you can be able to manufacture or make homemade uh, uh, furnitures where you can be able to sell and they are, they are, they are selling they are fast, fast selling yes Well, carefully, as I said, the mandate is to disseminate those information. So we have a mandate to disseminate the information to the end users. The end users could be farmers, could be investors, everybody is a, is a stakeholder. So what we do is we participate in events like this one, the Wabogo Farm. We, we, we participate in the agricultural so shows in the whole country. And also we organize our own field days whereby we invite partners, we invite farmers and everybody by going to press and, you know, the, the publicity activities. We also have an annual open day every year and also we have conferences that are held and these functions we invite uh, stakeholders and everybody to come and uh, actually share with us uh, their, their experiences and also it, uh, we use that opportunity to tell them of the research findings and the benefits you can get. Okay, babu is, is a very, very, very good uh, plant species uh, because one, it grows in the country in the different parts. We have different varieties of babu and in Kenya we only have one indigenous species. The others are imp uh, have been imported and introduced to the country for very many years and they are doing very well. So babu, we have different varieties for different ecozones and we like advising before they plant they should get it right from us because they end up planting the wrong species for the, different, for the wrong uh, ecozones. For example, we have babu for the very high altitude we also have babu for the rollers, we have babu for the high rods, so farmers need to get it right. So babu, we have those different varieties, and the beauty of babu is it grows very fast. In about five years, you are able to harvest the babu, and you can be able to utilize it in different ways, as I'll be showing later. But maybe the biggest challenge with babu is propagation. It doesn't produce seeds um, easily. It takes long, 60 years and above, to produce seeds. So at Carefree, we've been doing research, and we have now uh, polished the, uh, the propagation methods of babu so that farmers can be shown how to propagate it, how to grow it, and even how to manage it, and also all the way to the value addition. Babu propagation, as I said, we are using cuttings, and we use uh, several methods of propagating babu. So once you propagate your babu and you have red day seedlings, that's when you can grow it in the farms. And after five years, that is when you could harvest and start now the value addition in different ways as we are going to show you. Babus uh, can be affected by diseases and pests just like any other plant and we like advising that if you notice any disease or any pest and diseases deviation from the norm, if you notice anything you should be able to alert carefully. But so far we don't have any major challenges and uh, we like advising farmers that in case they notice any disease or any pest they should call upon carefully because at carefree we have a whole section on pathology, that's uh, diseases, and another whole section on enterprise. Uh, entomology and that's about pests and we are able to advise. Babu has got a lot of value and a lot of uses and at Carefree we have a whole workshop that has uh, that can be able to process babu into ed use. We have two categories. There is the raw babu. You can use raw babu or you can use the processed babu uh, processed into timber. Timber of 4x2, 3x2, whatever sizes. So what happens is babu can be used to construct uh, anything. 
I like saying anything because you can make very good furniture, as you will be shown. You can make very good chairs, very good bed. It can also be used uh, for construction of houses, for the chicken, for the cows, anything, even for human beings. You can make a very good house. Babu also is very good because uh, it has got calorific value and uh, we are able to make briquettes. Briquettes are these... Uh, chaco that can be used to for the cooking and all those other things babu is also very good for conservation of the river rains and uh, that way you are able to conserve your water in your dams in the river rains and also babu is edible they are young shoots the young shoots can be eaten and uh, at carefree we are able to train and actually show you how to uh, prepare it and how to cook it and eventually how to eat it has got a lot of nutritional value and uh, also babu can also be used to make you know uh, as that uh, the, the souvenirs just beauty products necklaces even is also used to make utensils so babu can do anything it can be used in any activity uh, in the homes